what's up everybody, it's Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to another episode of Track Walk and MX Simulator and today we're doing a completely special episode. Um, we are right smack dab in the middle of Supercross so normally I wouldn't do another like wild crazy track or like a different track in general um, than a Supercross track. But I mean come on, James Stewart Compound 2015 comes out in MX Sim finally after Motoboss and BMX Guy put a ton of effort into it cannot not do the review on this track so i'm gonna spend like three laps or so on the national track if i can not crash this is my first time i played sim in a few days and uh, a couple laps on the supercrosses each supercross and we'll just have a right old good time obviously the stewart compound huge jumps all around and i got uh, roost turned on so that might that might bother you being at the base of the screen i don't normally run with roost but if it bothers you so what I also changed my gear around a little bit and totally forgot that I was still running my military appreciation wheels from San Diego, so I have red and blue wheels, but uh, gr orange and blue helmet, jersey, whatever. Um, so whatever, deal with that. But this track, uh, pretty dang fun. It actually feels very uh, like good to play, like not crazy overscaled like i think some of the jumps are obviously a little bit bigger but uh feels super fun um lots of big jumps to bust whips and stuff on so i enjoy it and uh the first couple of days it came out i got online with a couple friends of mine and we rode 125s on this track actually on the on the damn it on the national because they said that the 125s is what feels the most fun, but I mean, it's a Stewart compound, he's a 450 rider, you gotta ride a 450 for this video at least. Why not? And uh, the most downloaded track in MX Simulator history is the old James Stewart compound, which was replicated after the uh, MVA Stewart compound by Motoboss, and he started this project, like, I think somewhere in the middle of last year. I know this project took quite a while for him and uh basically just took the base that he had i'm assuming and built the stewart compound and uh so like obviously there's a lot of huge changes to it pretty much everything runs backwards to the old stewart compound as you can see like we're at the back part of the track right here and this used to be literally going the other direction but that's the way that his compound now runs this is actually the way that it goes this is completely correct so yeah, this is, oh do the cheater line oh what how did i fall off the bike bullshit bolsheviks so as i said i'll do like three or so laps on the natty probably like three laps each on the supercross tracks it's kind of hard to see some of the stuff too because the dirt changes so much like it goes from sand to like red dirt to like normal looking dirt and then back to sand and it's just like all over the place but uh, that's just the nature of Stewart's compound he imported a lot of dirt onto the track up oh, landing in the weeds it's all right we're good Oh, whoa, got a big kick. It's just flowing along and got a gnarly kick. Look at those orange boots. Sexy as, bruh. I've been able to double that, no problem, but right now I'm having an issue with it. I think I'm just trying to be more cautious because I don't want to keep falling and look like an idiot. Yes, even as good as I am, I do fall quite often at the, in this game, so. All the people that are like, oh my gosh, how are you so good? Teach me your ways. Um, my ways are not that much better than you think. I do fall quite a bit. Ay, 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 ay. Almost jumping off the side of the track there. Man, I miss Nationals. This track reminds me of Nationals, and it's just... Supercross ruins everything. I love Nationals, man. At least in Sim. Um, IRL, I'm definitely more of a Nationals fan, too, but... You know, 
Supercross is a whole different cup of tea, and some people really enjoy that and the whole spectacle of it and everything like that. And that's cool, whatever, you know, whatever floats your old bucket around the old stream. What the hell? <laughs> Why do I keep falling? I'm not really doing anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, I landed pretty far into that gully, but I still landed on the other side of the ruts, which means that it would have been a downhill still. Come on. Making myself look like a nuisance in front of you guys. Stewart compound. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Bow. There's also a pretty bitchin' Stewart compound edit competition going on on the forums right now. We have nothing to do with that, so we won't like pump it up too much. But I'd do some searching around on the forums if I were you. Maybe look at some of the edits. They're pretty cool. Um, pretty much it's going on because Motoboss, the creator of this track, wanted someone to, like, create a replica of Stuart video. Because, like, he posted a video of Stuart riding at his house that Motosport.com did a while ago. Yeah, that's another thing I don't get at all about this track. I just crossed the finish line in that, like, U-turn. It's in the most random spot. Like, I don't, I just don't know if... Like, that's what Stuart actually does IRL. Maybe he does, where, like, someone just stands there with a mechanics board, or a pit board. Why did I say mechanics board? A pit board, and tells them his lap time's right there, but why not, like, a sim? Who cares? Put it on a table or something. Put it closer to the, the starting gate or something. I mean, it's, like, right after the starting gate, but it's just in a weird spot. It's, like, right in the middle of a corner. So if you're ever trying to have, like, a race on this track, because there's a decent amount of gates, I think there's, like... 25 30 gates if you're ever trying to have a race it makes it so that timing gates are in a very weird spot not that you'd ever have that close of a race anyway sick and tired of falling already wish i'd stop doing that hut hut ho hut 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 ho hut oh boy oh oh save it oh 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 saved it <laughs> <laughs> I was just all out of shape right there. Alright, let's make up for it by throwing a naughty whip. Mmm, greasy. Can I double this? Uh, nope. Somehow landed it. I'm really bad at throwing whips to the right, where the, the tail end whips out to my right. I'm really a lot better at throwing whips to the left. I also scrub to the left too. I don't know why that is. Always got used to it in reflex and just kind of carried that feeling over. Oh, that was, that was lush. That felt awesome to rip through that corner. Can I scrub this guy down? Not even close. There we go. There it is. Look at this. Woo. See how much better I am whipping to the, the left or whatever. Feels so much more comfortable. That's why whenever there's like supercross tracks where the supercross triples right out of a left-hand corner and it goes into another left-hander or something like that, like it's pretty much you have to whip to the right. Um, I'm terrible at that because... I just am not good at whipping to the right. Oh, 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 oh. Not good at whipping to the right. Not good at landing wide open either, as you can tell. Mess that up again. Still think this lap is going to be better. Let's have a look. And it's a 253.8. Let's go to the red Supercross. I'll go over to the start gate. Brup, brup, brup. Start gate is somewhere in this area. I think it's... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> They actually have like a gated version of this track, like where you can ride with the starting gates, but I'm just going to not use that for right now. Like I said, I already played all these tracks just a little bit, so don't be like, holy shit, how did you know that rhythm section? Because, I mean, like I said, I played them, so know a little bit about what I'm expecting. I also don't really like these Supercross tracks, to be honest with you. They're very small, very tight. I think... Uh, VMX Sky was the one that helped build them. I would have expected a little bit more out of him, to be honest with you. They're uh, just a tad tight and not 
the jump shapes are pretty bad too in my opinion so it's not just the tightness that I'm kind of salty about but you can see pretty tight so uh, I guess I'll do like two laps because I already did the lines on them all pretty well can I quad this nope His whips are big enough to like jump through them too. Double in. Have to double again because there's another double. Super cross triple. Kind of wish there's a night version because there's the cool night version available on the on Super Cross Encore now. The Stuart Compound. Like the whole night riding thing is something that I think is really cool. Like it makes it feel like more like a test track. All right, enough of this. Let's go to the sand one. Oh, 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 okay, I'm done. Uh, we'll do like two more laps on the old sand track, Rooney, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, let me see. Should I do a rating of this track? Hmm. hmm. I'm gonna give it super cross tracks. Definitely bring it down. The national track is really fun. I'd give the national track like a 9 out of 10. SX track's like playability is like, I'll be honest, like a 5 out of 10. Overall, I'd give this track like an 8 point. Like the whole thing, like the freaking, the visuals of it are sick. Like it's a great looking track. But I think I'm still going to have to give it like a eight, an 8 and a half, 9 out of 10. So... It is what it is. I mean, it's it's a fun track. It's really cool that he put this much work into it. Um, I think there's a few areas they could have worked on a little bit harder before they went to release. Um, and I'm just giving my honest opinion. Yeah, you can rip me apart and say it's the best track ever. Whatever, I don't care. You can tell me all that that all you want. I'm not gonna believe it. Also, uh, these rhythm sections are very like you can't do much of anything else in them but double into them and stuff like that which is very non stuart esque so the supercross tracks aren't the coolest thing like I said like the whoops are tiny they're playable like I said if you're trying to learn supercross I guess it's pretty neat because they're tiny like everything on it is very small so it's not not too difficult to uh, pick everything up and ride it well but you know, just wish that there was a little bit more uh, technicality to it. I mean, it's James Stewart's freaking house. All the uh, newbies at this game would be like, no, stop it. The Supercross tracks this year are already tough enough. Qu quit making stuff so difficult. But just stay in my opinion. I mean, it's Stewart's house. If uh, you guys want to complain about how hard the Supercross tracks is, you, c you can certainly go build your own Supercross and Arena Cross tracks that suit your style better and plus there's like the arena cross series in this game right now which the tracks are i'll admit pretty easy should go play some of those quit whining quit complaining it's a pro series who cares if the tracks are difficult damn it Alrighty then i'm going to wrap up this video thank you guys for watching this has been the stewart compound some episode of track walk let me think so 64 in san diego so 65 is going to be arlington so this is going to be 66 track walk episode number 66 on le jim stewart compound by moto boss and pretty sure vmx guy um fun stuff big jumps awesome whips good times um eight and a half nine ish out of ten overall great job on the track awesome to see that they put in the work to do it again and you guys can hit the old description of this video if you wish to download and play this track yourself you're more than welcome to you can also like this video if you enjoyed it if you didn't like it then uh, I don't know refrain from the dislike button at all costs but if you have to I mean you, you that's your own discretion um, you may also want to subscribe to our channel we got a lot of other cool stuff going on around here uh, you can comment on our videos at any time. Let us know how you, how we're doing, how we're not we're doing, what else we should be doing, etc. And uh, we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Jeremy and I both have IRL lives, bro, so we uh, can't monitor the 
community stuff going on every day, but we try to. And we appreciate any and all feedback and any and all support that we get. Um, love you guys. And thanks for watching Track Walk episode number 66, I guess, on the James Stewart Compound. See you guys later.